Understanding the difference between the expected profits from the original profit plan and adjusted profits, estimated using the sales adjusted profit plan, is the first step in analyzing performance. Competitive variance equals profit from sales adjusted profit plan minus profit from original profit plan. Various factors account for the difference, including market size, the market was larger or smaller than planned, market share, the company captured a larger or smaller share than planned. Product mix. The mix of products that the company sold was different from planned. Product price. Selling prices were different than planned. If the company does not have information about certain factors, then the effect of these particular factors on profit cannot be estimated. If there is information on these factors, how do we estimate the impact on profit of each of them? The process is simple but must be done carefully. Starting at the original profit plan, and one by one, each variable that makes up sales must be changed from planned to actual numbers. Each time one of these factors is adjusted, the profit plan is redone, and the change in profits reflects that factor's impact on profits. Let's illustrate this process. The original profit plan has all variables at the planned level, and planned sales are Planned market size times planned market share times planned product mix times planned price. First, we change the size of the market from its planned level to its actual level, and, keeping all other variables at planned level, the profit plan is redone. This change affects the volume of sales. If the market was larger than planned, then the company should have sold more than expected. A larger volume not only affects revenues, but also variable cost, because they vary with volume. The difference between the profit in the original profit plan and profit estimated in this new profit plan is therefore the profit adjusted for changes in market size. The difference in profits that a particular factor explains is called variance. Variances are labeled as favorable if profits go up because of changing this variable from plan to actual, or unfavorable if profits go down. The next variable on the list is market share. To evaluate the impact of market share on profits, the revised profit plan, calculated with the actual size of the market, is compared to a new profit plan. This new profit plan starts with the actual size of the market, but changes the market share from planned to actual. The new profit plan will differ because market share affects sales volume and volume affects revenues and variable costs. It is important to note that the comparison is not made with the original profit plan anymore. The difference between the original profit plan and the latest one is due to two variances, market size variance and market share variance. The analysis continues with the impact of changes in the product mix. It compares the latest profit plan with a new profit plan with the actual product mix. Changing the product mix does not affect the total volume itself, but it affects the planned average price and the average variable cost, so profits will differ. The difference is the product mix variance. The last variable is the selling price. To analyze the effect of selling prices on profits, we compare the last profit plan with a new profit plan, where planned selling prices are switched to actual prices. Higher selling prices will lead to higher profits and lower prices to lower profits. This variance is a selling price variance. By now, we have changed all the revenue drivers from planned levels to actual levels. The latest profit plan has the actual revenues, but all costs at planned levels, except for volume. This is the sales adjusted profit plan. These variances provide detailed insights into why the company's revenues were better or worse than expected. Because they focus on revenues, the company's performance in the market, they are called competitive variances. Some competitive variances can be estimated. For instance, market size, market share, and selling price variances can be calculated for each product, customer, customer segment, region, etc. Doing so aids the performance analysis of each performance object. Finally, notice that there are no rules about the sequence of analysis. A company may start with market size and then move to selling prices, while another may do the reverse. 
different ordering leads to different variances. In most cases, these differences are not large and do not change the interpretation of the variances.